my son has suddenly got really interested in everything about kind of like Photoshop, uh, what do you call it, WordPress, uh, media production. I've been able to actually involve him a little bit in some of my work. And, cool. and, and that has been just mind blowing how meaningful it is actually. Um, you know, one of the differences in the ways that men communicate versus the way women communicate. Women communicate, they face each other and they mm -hmm. talk like this, you know, mm -hmm. which is, you know, why I think eventually guys may get a little tired of, you know, of, of sort of zooming, you know, because they sit and always see his faces <laughs> you know, talking at each other. But yeah. men typically stand shoulder to shoulder and we look at something else together. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it be the, you know, the sports team on the field or whether like you and your son, it'd be the work at hand. Mm -hmm. But men very often stand short and look at something else, and that becomes the basis for the interaction. Mm -hmm. You know, sort of the face-to-face -face stuff is not is we do it, mm -hmm. but there is another mode of of communication which men are, I think, even better at. You know, and, yeah. and the fact that you can do that with your son, I think, is will bear extraordinary fruit. Yeah, well, that's really interesting what you're saying as well, because I mean, some people would say that it's a problem that men don't experience as much intimacy, personal intimacy in the same way that women do because they don't have this facing each other conversations. And, and while I can certainly see, you know, and that's a part of what we do in men's work to a certain extent, mm -hmm. I guess, when we often sit in a circle and we share the challenges that we're facing and we show our grief to each other. And then um, I, I also see some groups that just do that and it kind of collapses into this constant you know, kind of feeling bath of yeah. uh, that never moves on, right? Um, yeah, there, there, and there's the danger in it. Mm -hmm. There's the danger in it because it, it just sort of circles round and round and round. Mm -hmm. Much better, like I say, is if it's focused towards towards something else. I I, I heard someone uh, refer. There is I, I forget who some American sports figure uh, who wears a baseball cap that has the letters A C E written on the underside of the visor, so he sees it all the time. A C action changes everything. Mm -hmm. And it does. And when you can get out of your head, it was always a problem for me being sort of, you know, very solipsistic, very introspective as a young man and so concerned about how I would feel or what somebody else was going to think about what I did or said. And then I finally realized nobody gives a damn about you because they're all concerned for themselves. So just do what you want to do and you're, you, you're probably fine. But when you get out of your own head and go and do something about it, it this is much more effective for men. And I think there, I think there is a kind of, there is a kind of intimacy because there's a, um, um, how would I put it? Sort of the traditional phrase that, that men bear the, the uh, burden of performance. So men are expected to do. Mm -hmm. And so when we can get together with another man in order to do something, there is a real sense of, of brotherhood there. Mm 